Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for stopping by and checking out this video. If you get a chance, please like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. Now let's get into it. So today I'll be reviewing the Trigicon HD XR night sights. As you can see, I went with the orange front sight and for the rear I went with the yellow. I have these on my Glock 23 and my Glock 26. They've been on there for about two years now and I haven't had any issues. They've been holding up really, really nice. Now before I get into some of the things that I really like about these sights, I do have to point out that the Trigicon HDs are the first gen and the Trigicon HD XRs are the second gen. Now the difference in those two is the front post. The front post for the XRs are thinner and the dot itself is a little bit smaller. I think what Trigicon did here is receive some, I'm not going to say complaints, but maybe some requests to change that front post just to make it a little bit thinner where it didn't fill out that rear sight so much. In doing so, it allows for a little bit more precise shooting, a little bit better longer distance shots. I think they did that too to really cater to the law enforcement community. What I mean by that is if you look at uh, law enforcement officer involved shootings, uh, majority of the time they're having to deal with civilians, people driving around in cars. Uh, nowadays, people pulling out their phones, getting really close, trying to see what's going on. So they have a lot to consider um, and they have a lot more of a chance to get in a shooting than your average civilian. And they sometimes have to take longer shots. Um, it's just the nature of the beast when it comes to law enforcement where uh, longer shots are more of a reality than if you were a civilian. Not to say that civilians can't find themselves in that situation. If you take the uh, shooting in Texas where the individual walked into the church with the shotgun and you have a retired FBI agent who was a firearm instructor pull out his Glock and make that very precise single shot to end the threat immediately. Uh, few and far between, but it could happen to you as a civilian. I'm not saying it won't. I'm just saying the chances of someone being involved in shooting law enforcement is greater. The chances of it being a long distance shot, law enforcement is probably greater. Now, like I said, the front post was made a little bit thinner with these XRs. As you see, it's about three millimeters for that front post. And when it comes to the rear uh, U-notch there, it is about four millimeters, which allows for the dot to kind of float in between the rear sight. What I really like about the U-notch in the rear is that, that that front circle is able to sit in that U-notch really clean, which makes for a very, very nice, crisp sight picture all the way around. Another thing that Trigicon did was, was they wrapped that tritium front sight with photoluminescent, basically glow-in-the-dark paint. So what you're getting is a little bullseye. So when you're coming up to line up your sights on your gun, your eye really is drawn toward that front sight immediately. It allows for just a quicker sight picture, just a slightly quicker than your average sights out there. Now moving on to low light or no light conditions with these sights. I've had them on this Glock for two years now and there has been zero issue with dimming. As you can see in this video, they are bright as can be. They're literally bright as the day that I picked them up and put them on this Glock. Zero dimming going on there and they really pop in the dark. Even in the lower light conditions you're able to pick them up really well. They start glowing immediately. So Glock thinned out that front sight. Now when it comes to the rear sight, if you see really close you could see that they kind of made a hook shape when it comes to that rear sight. And what they did there is allow for, again, I think they were going for law enforcement, but it still does apply to civilians. It allows for that one hand manipulation. If one hand goes down, if it's injured, it gets shot, or you just can't use one hand for some reason, you can manipulate the slide with that one hand on the sight system because of the angle that they put right there. So all in all, very quick review on these uh, sights. I love them, they've been working great. Uh, the front thinner post allows for longer, more precise shots if you want that, it's something you want. The rear one hand manipulation angle of the rear sight makes it very easy, especially if you're running those drills and wanting to work on that aspect of um, your firearms training. The glow on the tritium, still bright as can be, no dimming at all there. 
So my suggestion, if you're in the market, especially if you're in law enforcement, it does apply to civilian well, but if you're in law enforcement, I think these are a very good option in the world of sites where you have, I mean, so many different options. I'm not saying these are the best, the best, um, but they are a very good option, especially for people who are in the law enforcement security field. Now, the one downside to these sites that I can find is the price. They're Trigicon. They, they charge an arm and a leg. I think right now you can probably get these for 130 if you're lucky. I paid 145 150 when I got them two years ago. They're still up there. They're still holding their value. So if you're not wanting to spend that much, I wouldn't suggest these sites. But they do hold up. I mean, they live up to their name. They're Trigicon, and uh, they're worth it in my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed that review. Very quick and to the point. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. God bless.